So, hi everyone. Uh, we are back with a new question from GATE 2022 and from the subject partial differential equation. Okay. So, what the question is all about? Just discuss that. Uh, the partial differential equation we are given here. The partial differential equation is transformed to this differential equation using these transformations. Normally, uh, what what is this kind of uh, thing is? We are given with a partial differential equation. We just find out the characteristic curves of that uh, partial differential equation, and then we'll just use these transformations to form, find out the canonical form of the partial differential equation. And then A, B, C are nothing but the uh, canonical form converted canonical forms uh, 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 double derivatives constant A, B, C, and then we'll find out the value of this expression. That is one over twelve q b square minus four ac. Okay. And this is an NAT question, so let's just start the discussion. Okay, so normally we are given with the partial differential equation as uh, r. Suppose if I'm taking u as the dependent variable and x, y as independent variable, so this is nothing but del square u by del x del y plus t del square u by del y square plus a fun some function of uh suppose u x u y x y and u equals to zero so normally we just find out this we just consider this equation and then we'll find out the eigen uh, roots of that uh, equation this is quadratic like we just suppose like this this r lambda square plus s lambda plus t equals to zero we just find out the value of lambda and then dy suppose lambda 1 and lambda 2 are two roots of this equation so dy by dx plus lambda 1 and uh, equals to 0 and the second one is dy by dx equals to uh, plus lambda 2 equals to 0 so normally we find out this curves and then we uh, put them as a another variable suppose in this case they are giving as xi and eta these are the standard forms like standard variables which we denote to this uh, transform this differential equation partial differential equation so whatever will be the function we'll just find uh, we'll just put them as a, another variable and then we'll just use that transformation to convert the given uh, differential equation partial differential equation to this like whatever it is like in these uh, variables that will be the canonical form and then the coefficient they are asking about this expression okay so we'll just find out the canonical form of the given differential equation nothing else and they are given like the half procedure is done we'll just do the half part okay so the given equation is uh suppose i'm finding out uh, uh let's say del u by del xi so that will be nothing but del u by uh, sorry, uh, we just convert the given differential partial differential equation. So we'll just find out the value of del u over del x. Okay, so del u over del xi, if I'm writing, and del xi over del x plus del u over del eta and del eta over del x. Can I write like this in the partial differential equation? Because we know that here uh, xi is a function of x and y, eta is a function of x and y. So, we will just differentiate first with respect to xi and eta, partially differentiate and then we will just differentiate, partially differentiate xi and eta with respect to x because we are doing del u over del x. Okay? So, we just write the uh, xi and eta value uh, in the calculation part. It is nothing but xi is equals to and eta is equals to. Uh, xi and eta is nothing but y minus 2x and 7y minus 2x. Okay, so this is our y minus 2x and this is 7y minus 2x. Okay, this implies we'll just find out the value of xi x and eta x. Whatever information we are given, we'll just find out the uh, partial derivatives of them. Okay, so xi x will be equals to minus 2 and eta y, sorry, uh, xi y is equals to 1. Okay, and in this case, eta y is 7 and eta x eta x is minus 2 okay so we'll just put the here thing here 
this is xi x is minus 2. So, this will be minus 2. I am writing del u over del xi as u xi. Okay. And this will be del eta over del x is minus 2 again. So, minus 2 u eta. Okay. So, this is our del u over del x. Okay. So, we will just find out the value of del u over del y in a similar manner. That is nothing but del u over del y which is nothing but same procedure u xi because xi is a function of x and y also. So, we will just differentiate it with respect to y also. So, this is xi y plus uh, u eta and eta y. Okay. So, xi y is 1. Okay. So, this will be u xi and eta y is 7. So, 7 u eta. Okay. So, we have del u over del x and del u over del y but we are fit to find out the value of del square u by del x square, del square u by del x del y, del square u by del y square. So, we will just secondly partially differentiate them. Okay. So, this is nothing but uh, uh, del square u over del x square. This is nothing but del over del x, del u by del x, isn't it? Okay. So, this is del by del x. And then we have to put the value of del u over del x, which is nothing but uh, 2 minus 2 u xi minus 2 u eta. Okay, we'll just differentiate that. So this is nothing but del minus 2. Now we'll just differentiate u xi with respect to x. But u we know that xi, u xi is a function of x now. So we just first differentiate u is a function of xi and eta now. So, we'll just differentiate that with respect to xi and then we'll just differentiate with respect to x with xi. Again, similar manner, we'll now differentiate it because u is a function of xi and eta also. So, we'll just differentiate u xi with respect to eta. This is nothing but this and then eta x. Okay, I'll be, just, I'll be just finding out the value of del square u by del x square in a similar manner. I'll be writing out the del square u by del y square and in a similar manner del square u by del x y. We'll, I'll, just, I'll just be writing out, okay. I'm just, uh, you know, uh, just solving this expression only. Okay, then again, we'll just be differentiating this minus 2 u eta with respect to xi. So, this will be u eta xi and xi x. Again, and then again minus 2. Now, I'll be just differentiating it with respect to eta. So, this is eta eta and then eta x. x. Okay, so this is nothing but... Uh, uh, see, this is xi x we know. Xi uh, x is minus 2. So, xi x is minus 2. So, minus 2 minus 2 will be 4. So, it's a 4 u xi xi. This is eta x. So, eta x is again minus 2. I guess, yeah. So, eta x is minus 2. And this xi uh, x is also minus 2. So, plus 4 plus 4 will be 8. So, this is 8 u xi eta again minus eta x is minus 2 so plus 4 plus 4 u eta eta okay so this is del square u by del x square okay we'll just put this out uh, nothing else Okay, so this is the important equation. Okay, I'm just giving it as equation number one. In a similar manner, we'll just be finding out the value of del square u by del y square. I'm just writing it directly from the above procedure. Uh, that will be nothing but del over del y of del u over del y which is nothing but, this is nothing but u, uh, what is del u over del y. We will just check it out. Uh, we just find out the value of del u over del y, which is u xi plus 7 u eta. u xi plus 7 u eta. Okay. Now, I will just be writing out it directly. See, this is u xi with respect to xi, we will just differentiating and then xi y. Okay. Similar manner, u xi sorry u xi eta and then eta y okay plus 7 u eta xi and xi y plus 7 u 
eta and then eta y. Okay, we just take the value of eta y is 7 and xi y is 1. So, as we know, xi y is 1, so it will be u xi xi. This is eta y, eta y is 7. So, this is 7 and then this eta y, uh, xi y is 1. So, 7 plus 7 is 14. So, 14 u xi eta. Okay, and then plus eta y is 7, so it is 49. So, 49 u eta eta. Okay, now this is our del square u by del y square. Okay, so this is the important thing. Okay, or now uh, this is del square u by del x del y. We'll just be finding out that also. So del u over del x, del u over del y. So uh, what is the value of del u over del y is u xi plus 7 u eta u xi plus 7 u eta okay so well again we just be differentiating it with respect to x now so u xi eta eta x plus u xi 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 x plus 7 u eta 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 x and plus 7 u eta xi xi x okay we know that eta x and xi x we are given or we just find out the value of them uh, is nothing but eta x and xi x is minus 2 so this will be we'll just putting this one first so xi x is minus 2 so minus 2 u xi xi and then eta x is minus 2 so this will be minus 14 u eta and this is eta x is minus 2, uh, xi x is minus 2 and this is minus 2, so minus 16. So, minus 16 u xi eta. So, this is our del u square u by del x del y. Okay. So, we just find out the value of the three uh, quantities which we needed in the equation and then we just putting these values, nothing else. Okay. So, what was the equation is 7 u x x plus 16 u x y plus 9 I guess I don't know 4 maybe 4 uh, 4 u y y equals to 0. Let's just cross check the equation first 7 16 and 4 yeah okay so we're just putting the value of them nothing else and uh, uxx value uh, and what is the value of uxx uh, 4 8 and 4 okay so this is nothing but 4 u xi xi plus 8 u xi eta plus 4 u eta eta done plus 16 uh, uxy is minus 2 minus 16 minus 14 so 16 is minus 2 u xi xi minus 16 u xi eta and minus 14 u eta eta okay then uh, for u y y value uh, 1 14 and 49 okay so u xi xi plus 14 uh, u xi eta plus 49 14 and 49 u eta eta equals to 0. Okay, so our transformed equation will be in this form. We'll just find out the calculation, nothing else. Uh, so, we'll just calculating the coefficient of this u xi xi. Okay, so this is 7 4 ja, 28, 28 plus 4, 32, and this minus 32. So, u xi xi coefficient will be 0. So, 0 into u xi xi plus. Okay, now we will just find out the value of u xi eta coefficients. Okay, that is 56. Uh, this is minus 256 and this is uh, 56. Na? So, minus 2 plus 56, minus 256 and plus 56. Okay, and this is u xi eta. Again, uh, u eta eta will be finding out. This is 28 
and this is let's calculate this uh, uh, 74 28 and 16 14 uh, will be uh, 16 and 14 2 2 2 4 okay so 2 2 4 with plus sign and uh, with minus sign sorry and this will be nothing but 4 9 are 36 4 9 are 36 4 4 are 16 and 196 okay so this is 196 okay so this is with negative sign actually minus 2 to 4 and this is 196 with plus sign and this is u eta eta equals to 0 so this is 0 this is 56 56 112 and 112 minus 256 will be 144 i guess u xi eta and this is nothing but uh, 28 4 0 so 0 into u eta eta equals to 0 so 0 into u xi xi so we converted our differential equation into that uh, which is given the question itself uh, this okay so the coefficient of u xi xi will be a the coefficient of u xi eta will be b and the coefficient of u eta eta will be c and then we have to find the value of this okay so by our calculation we are getting a and c as 0 and b as minus 144 so we'll just find out the value of this okay so this is our a so comparing this we'll be getting a as 0 and b as minus 144 and c as 0 okay so the expression is 1 over 12 cube b square which will be 144 square minus 0 isn't it so this is 144 square which is nothing but 12 square we can write and 12 square we can write okay and this is 12 raised to power 3 so 1 power will be cancelling out so it will be equal to 12 okay so the answer is 12 so this expression value is 12 see uh, there are particular form canonical forms like there are particular formats for the uh, partial differential equation which are hyperbolic uh, even parabolic or elliptic but in hyperbolic uh, this is nothing but hyperbolic now 16 square minus 4 4 into 7 which will be greater than 0 so the given partial differential equation is hyperbolic but in hyperbolic and parabolic there are two forms like there are particular two formats for the canonical forms but in the elliptic there is only one okay so you can do it even directly you can't uh, like in case of elliptic you can but in case of hyperbolic and parabolic you can't because we'll be getting two uh, particular forms see for hyperbolic uh, i think there are two forms that is nothing but del square u over del x del y uh, suppose if i'm taking the scripted equals to some function uh, which is of comma x comma y comma z or ux whatever it is ux uy anything okay or there is another that is nothing but del square u over del x square plus del square u over del y square equals to some function of this same okay uh, sorry this is u and this is u ux uy okay so if uh, in case of elliptic this is nothing but this form only and uh, uh, in case of uh, uh, parabolic it is like del square u over del x square equals to some function and del square u y square equals to some function there are like particular formats but from here we can't depict that what the value of a b and c so we have to solve the question but in case of elliptic we can do it okay so the question was a little bit lengthy but not in a uh, proper manner you can do it like you can find out like you can just go through the roughly work okay and then you will be finding out value of this is 12 so the answer will be 12 thank you